It's really happening. We're getting Ghost of Tsushima single player DLC, a PlayStation 5 version, new Legends content, and way, way more on August 20th already. So let's go over the big announcements, the short but sweet trailer, how the pricing is going to work, and also some free additions that will be coming to the game. If you are excited, then totally leave a like on the video. And let's go. I am, by the way, doing a giveaway for the director Scott. And if you already own the base game, you then get the expansion. You can enter the giveaway via the link in the pinned comments. And be sure you are a subscriber of the channel before you enter. I'll reach out and announce the winner close to release. And maybe you already saw the short announcement trailer they released. They start with PlayStation 5 enhancements. If you play the PS4 version on PS5 right now, which you see right here, you already have the 60 frames per second, which is nice. And the note in the trailer that the native PS5 version will get 4K resolution and also 60 FPS with likely sharper image quality. All the footage in the new trailer is captured directly from the PS5 and it totally looks a bit better than on PS4. But yeah, more noteworthy are the additions that we currently don't have on PS5, namely haptic feedback and the adaptive triggers, and they show a bow with the adaptive triggers, which makes sense because we will of course feel some resistance when preparing an arrow in the PS5 version, and we will also get enhancements to 3D audio on PS5, as well as drastically improved load times. And as you likely know, the load times in Ghost of Tsushima are already insane for an open world game, but there are still some things they could improve right now when going from the main menu into the game for the first time. It costs like 20 seconds on the PlayStation 5 SSD. And also in the menu, it can take some time before the armors load in. So I'm sure that will be improved with this native PS5 version. There will also be lip sync for the Japanese voiceover. The PlayStation blog post notes that thanks to the PS5's ability to render cinematics in real time, cutscenes in Ghost of Tsushima and on the Iki Island expansion on PS5 will now offer lip sync for Japanese voiceover. <laughs> So great if you prefer to play the game that way, but again, this will only be on PlayStation 5 when you upgrade to the director's cut, which will also include the brand new single player DLC. I will touch on that in a moment. First, I want to go over some free additions that will be coming with a patch for everyone who owns the game. So no need to pay extra for the things I'm gonna mention here. This patch will include new photo mode updates, new accessibility options for controller remapping, as well as the option to enable a target lock on during combat. And that is huge and something that I totally missed while playing, although I totally got used to it over time. The developers did reveal after release that they like did not include this on purpose because of how in samurai movies we also see the samurai fight multiple enemies and then kind of dance between them. So slash one then go to the other which we of course also had in Ghost of Tsushima. But now we can at least choose to play it the old and familiar way or use this new lock on feature. I think that's great. And we will also be able to hide our quiver during gameplay after installing that new update. So that's also nice. And I'm really hyped about this next part. For Ghost of Tsushima Legends fans, we will be releasing some new updates, including an all new mode that we are excited to detail in the weeks to come. That's awesome, like more love for this amazing co-op mode that hopefully gets a new life with the launch of the director's cuts. Because if you loved the single player but never played this multiplayer, then you should totally give it a go. But yeah, let's talk about the single player because of course the most exciting part of this announcement is the fact that we get a brand new single player expansion as well. We got like 30 seconds of footage of Iki Island, but with a lot of quick cuts. For example, we can pet a monkey. I wouldn't be surprised if this works similar to the foxes from the main game. So that we get an upgrade by petting the monkey too. We got a lot of shots of the environment which look very diverse for what should be a pretty small island. If we look at the real world map here to put it in perspective, of course they're not rebuilding things on a scale like this, but it should still give us an idea of what to expect. So I would not be surprised if it's like similar to the area that we unlocked in the second act of the game. 
something like that but again way more diverse like look at this it looks amazing there will of course be a new story in the dlc on the playstation blog we learn that Jin travels to the islands to investigate rumors of a mongol presence but soon he finds himself caught up in events with deeply personal stakes that will force him to relive some traumatic moments from his past so curious what that will be more about his father maybe or something else your theories are of course more than welcome in the comments down below there will be new and deadly enemies from the looks of it like all these mongols have a ton of armor they seem pretty hard to beat but what is interesting is that the blog post notes that you can already go to iki island at the beginning of act 2 so sounds a bit like the frozen wilds dlc from horizon zero dawn you can already go there early which likely means that this is also a side story that it doesn't take place after the ending of the main story. That is not confirmed, but that would be, in my opinion, the only logical explanation for why you can already go there in Act 2, right? I do think it will still be kind of an endgame area, if that makes sense, like the Frozen Wilds was as well, with likely some of the best gear you can only get there. This new island also features tons of new content, including brand new environments to explore, new armor for Jin as well as his horse, new mini games, new techniques, new enemy types, and much more. So yeah, new skills are confirmed too, we already saw the armor for Jin's horse, which seem to unlock like an ability to push over enemies which could be pretty powerful we see some new armor sets briefly as well i really can't wait for this and again august 20th that's way earlier than i expected it's really really cool so how it works is that the ghost of tsushima director's cut will launch as a full package for if you do not have the game yet so this will actually include the items that were first part of the deluxe edition and the new expansion as well as you can see here it's full priced with the ps5 version being ten dollars more expensive but that will of course include the special features if you don't have the game right now but still pre-order the director's cut you already get the ps4 version of ghost of tsushima immediately so you can already play the game and then transfer over your save file to the ps5 edition when that becomes available on august 20th so yes of course we will be able to take the save that we already have to the ps5 version or to the expansion because if you are watching this video then you likely already own the game right and maybe already finished it well if you don't have a playstation 5 then you can still buy the upgrades to the director's cut on ps4 for 20 dollars so this will then include the digital goodies that you might not have already and also the expansion so in short you're basically buying the expansion on ps4 for 20 dollars if you then later get a ps5 you can always upgrade to the ps5 version of ghost of tsushima for 10 extra dollars if you already have a playstation 5 and own the original ps4 version they can also immediately upgrade to the ps5 director's cut for 30 dollars you could of course also get the expansion on PS4 and then later upgrades to the PS5 benefits but I'm not sure why you would. So we're basically looking at an expansion for like $20 which should already give us an idea of how big it's gonna be. It should be pretty meaty. We will hear more about this new content and the Legends mode that they're gonna of course reveal in the coming weeks. So when we know more about that, I will of course be the first to tell you here. So totally subscribe to stay up to date on everything Ghost of Tsushima if you haven't already. A like on the video would really help me out and if there's already new Ghost info, you can watch that by clicking on the screen. Otherwise you will see an older Ghost of Tsushima video here. For now, I'll speak to you next time. Let me know what you think in the comments down below and goodbye.